Hi everybody, I'm Robin and these are my reflections and today I am here to unbox the Bala Studios uh, fortune telling cards. So I got, I pre-ordered this um, and I pre-ordered the the new Baba Rock por fortune telling cards as well as the Mercury cards because I've learned with Baba Studios that <laughs> you got to get it while you can and it's good to get like everything shipped at once because otherwise you're paying double shipping if you decide you want something later you can really spend a lot of extra money so i went ahead and got both i don't know which one i'm gonna like and which one i'm not um i probably won't decide that today but i did want to go ahead and unbox this because i think this is i'm kind of excited we've been waiting quite a while for these um and so we'll start with the book so i did get the book as well and the book contains um the information for both sets of cards I don't know if I will use them separately or mix them together. I really don't know much about um, these cards, but I got to tell you, I'm kind of getting more and more interested in fortune telling cards. Like I'm, you know, into Lenormand and I'm getting interested in starting to learn Kipper again um, while well, studying Kipper again. Playing cards are like really interesting to me. So I think that this is just going to fall right into that sort of that sort of, you know, straight shooting fortune telling cards world. So it's, I'm happy to have them. Um, so here's the table of contents for the book. So it gives you some information about the background of fortune telling cards and then the creation of the deck um, and the history of th the deck and what they did and what they, what they pulled from. So it's 34 pages of just background. And then it talks a little bit about what the system is that the cards follow, how they were designed, and then the meetings are start on page 41. So <laughs> that's a lot. And then the meetings for the uh, Mercury card start on 88. So we've got, you know, quite a bit. And then how to read goes on for maybe another 50 pages, it looks like. And then there's some card pairing appendix for another 100 pages. So this is like, this is quite a book. So let's see. Oh, they sent me these cards for like, these are like promotional cards. That, so I'm using them as bookmarks. But um yeah, I thought that this was cool. I'm I'm looking forward to this because like I said, this is not something that, you know, I totally know a whole lot about. So I feel like, you know, I bought this this deck and I'm glad I got the book. The books, you know, when you get them on pre-order are pretty good for what you get. I mean, you get Miss Glossy Pages and she always puts Karen Mahoney always puts a lot of information in her guidebooks as far as where she got her inspiration, what she knows about, whatever it is the deck is and you never, I never feel cheated when I get one of these books. So um, it was definitely worth the purchase, especially to help guide me to be able to use, use this deck. Yeah. So it looks like we've got upright and reversed, and then some examples of pairs on the page where you read the um, card. And then in the back, I noticed there are some, there's more pairs. So there's like lady pairs. There's lots for Lady, lots for Laura. I mean, for everyone, it looks like they've paired every card with another card and given like an example of what it may include or what it may uh, indicate. So that's cool. And that goes on and on and on and on for all the cards. And then in the back, um, there's a little appendix, which I, you know, I really thought that this is, there's this in the back for like I guess how it would relate to Lenormand cards it looks like yeah deck comparisons so the Lenormand the fortune telling and then some other types of fortune telling cards and then the bohemian cards and sort of the correspondences and how they relate which is neat that's cool to have in the back of this book so yeah that's the book which I'm very excited to dig into this is going to be a whole project and I'm glad to have both decks um, and then any other decks that I want to pull in, I can use. I think these are the only, I think I only have one other deck that is similar to the fortune telling deck, I think. But we'll see. So that's the book. So now let's take a look at these cards. Okay. Let me get them out of here. Let me get. Hang on. <laughs> they always, cause, so they ship them from Ireland and I live in the States, so. They come quite a long way, so I do appreciate how well packaged they always are. Um, they put peanuts in the box, and they wrap everything in these 
bubble wrap and it's just the books come with like um cardboard wrapped around them just so that they don't get bent up in shipping and it's just really well packaged so you pay a little bit for shipping i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit expensive because well i did because it was coming from ireland but it's worth it because the cards and the book and everything always arrives in perfect condition okay so these new baba studio decks are all coming in these wooden boxes see they even put the peanuts inside to keep the decks from giant they just really package things nicely um they make sure you get your your stuff in perfect condition so it did come with a little guidebook. So if you didn't want to get the big guidebook, let's just take a look at what's in the little book. So you do get some information about the terminology, um, information about the background of the cards, the numbering, and then into the card meanings. Yep, it looks good. I mean, this is good to get you started. Like if you don't want to get the big book, it even gives you some examples of readings and what you can do there's also some examples of possible pairs in here so yeah this is good so like say you're already good on these and you don't need that big book like i do you could definitely you know you could definitely just get the little book i think this box is kind of big for these little cards so i'm glad it came in a little in a little pouch because i mean these cards are small they're this is these are small um they're bigger than they're big, they're smaller than tarot and bigger than, um, let me see. So this is a Llewellyn size card. So you can kind of get a feel for that. And then let me get a 10 deck. They're bigger than a 10 deck. They're bigger than a, um, than a playing card. Hang on. Let me see if I can find a playing card deck. Okay. So this is a bridge size card. This is one of my Lenormand decks. Um, and it's a bridge size card, playing card. So it's not poker size, it's bridge size, which is a little narrower than poker size. But you can see they're a little taller. So they're their own little size, which I enjoy. I like that. And they're small enough. I think they're both going to fit. Like if I wanted to mix them, I think I could fit them both in one bag. <laughs> along with a crystal and the books and everything because they're, they're tiny. Um, so that's what's in that box. That's the Mercury's fortune telling cards. The box to the side. And let's see what's in this one. Looks like we have the same. I like that they put these little packing peanuts in there. It's so nice. Let's take a look at the book real quick, just so you can see, in case you want to purchase and you want to know. So that is the book. Yep, same. It looks like it's the same as the other one, just, you know, specific for this deck. Yep. Um, and then in the back, same. Yeah, it's all the same. Just changed for the deck, for this particular deck. So, yep. And let's see the cards. And I got, it looks like this one came with a little reading. <laughs> I got the soldier card. This one didn't come. This one just, no, this one didn't have anything in. Just the that. So, All right, so I've freed them from their plastic, and you can get a look at the backs here. They're foiled. Um, I don't know if you can tell with my lighting because I do, but they're foiled. And they come on that normal Baba Studios, which is just um, a nice matte card stock, but they foil their cards. So all of this is foiled on the back. And it's probably got some cold stamping on the front. Well, I wouldn't, maybe it's not foiled, maybe it's cold stamped. And even this title card is called stamped. I don't know if you can see it, but it is. So uh, that's kind of nice. The stars are, are stamping. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's see. We'll do a little flip through. This one is based on an antique deck from Limburg, reworked by Alex Uklov. And this is designed by Karen Mahoney and illustrated by Alex Uklov. All right, so let's just take a look, see what we got. Oh, they have the same titles. I wasn't expecting that. I thought that they would have different titles, I think. 
And so I thought, oh, I could mix them. But it looks like they're the same deck, just illustrated differently, maybe created at different times. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know much about them, but I've been kind of into these sort of fortune telling decks. So I knew if I wanted to, even if I even thought I might want them, it would be best for me to just get them while I could, while they were reasonably priced, because you know these Baba Studios decks can be through the roof if you're not careful, um, if you wait. So I went ahead and got them. I love, I prefer the illustrations on this one for sure. Um, for sure. I like this though. I think it might pair nicely with some of my, um, with some of my, this is happiness and this one is hope. So it changed a little bit there. Unexpected joy and gladness. So there, there's a little differences, little differences here. Um, I think that this one's going to pair nicely with some of my Marseille decks, which, you know, wish I'd have had this before I did that pairing Marseille video <laughs> or before I worked with Marseille because I worked with Marseille for the month of May and this would have been nice to have had. But I have another deck that's very similar to this, but with um, the, the illustrations are a little different. This is more woodblock. Um, so we have thoughts and surprise. Oh, thought and gift. Wait, hang on. What happened? Did I miss something? No. So here, I think maybe they should be, I don't know. Oh, oh, let me not mess it up. Hang on, let me put it back. So we have thoughts and surprise, <laughs> thought and gift. And here's gift here again. So I don't know if we, yeah, I think maybe this deck has an extra card. Yeah, so we had thoughts. Yeah, so this one had an extra card. It had surprise. And this one has thoughts. I wonder if this one is supposed to have surprise as well. I might be missing a card. I need to count them. Gift. Money. Oh, look. They put a little diversity in here. I have this card. They sent it to me when I bought the Victorian Romantic, and I love it. And I put it somewhere. I can't remember. And I thought this was so cute. I was like, yes, I love that. <laughs> Misfortune. I wonder if I'm missing a card. Desire, longing. If you know, let me know. Um, fidelity. Falsehood and vexation. Interesting. That's different. Oh, here we go again. So I have two falsehood cards. Here, fixation. Okay, so there's two falsehood cards. And the, here we are, constancy. Haughtiness and inconstancy. Child and merriment. So they are a little different, these decks. Marriage and house. I thought that they were going to be, here's child, letter. Yeah, so see... They're starting to veer. I think that's where I'm confused. Because I thought at first I was like, oh, they'll be the same. <laughs> but um, no, I, I definitely think that they, they're starting to veer now. So letter and journey, gossip and enemy. So it looks like they're getting, starting to get some more Norman cards. That chart at the back of that book is going to be helpful. Visit and thief. Journey, yeah, they've definitely veered now. I don't have anything. Temptation, sadness, enemy. Death, thief, great joy, and love. And this deck definitely has more cards. So we've got more. Jealousy, which I don't know if these are extra cards or what. Sorrow. Loss, illness, death, two death cards. One of them has the Grim Reaper in the back and one doesn't. Okay, so those look like there are some extra cards. So I'm going to do a little bit of research. You know, I don't know how many cards I'm supposed to have here. <laughs> I don't know if I'm missing cards or what, but... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I that is the flip through. That's all of the cards. 
Um, if you know, let me know because, well, I'm probably going to look in the book and it'll tell me. So it looks like this extra soldier card that they sent is actually meant to be an alternate for this soldier card. So we have a male and a female soldier. So that's cool. Cool. Looks like there's a lot of alternate cards in this deck. Okay, so I looked in this book and I, I do have all of the cards. I counted them and I went through this list. And it looks like what they've done is they've taken the fortune telling cards um, and they have uh, removed or they added in a few extra cards. They changed a couple of their names and their deck is 36 cards where the original is 32. So that's why I had extra cards there. And um, they did have some alternates, like there was an alternate for death. There was an alternate for soldier. Um, I think there was another alternate in here. I can't remember. So that is what's going on with that. And for the Mercury one, so I have all of the cards for this one. I did check it up against this list. And it looks like this one is more um, traditional for the cards. And it looks like they've just reimagined um, and added cold stamping to these a little bit. But for the most part, they're more traditional where they took more liberties with the other deck as far as comparing it to like a traditional a traditional um fortune telling a bohemian fortune telling deck or like if it was going to be like a traveler's deck they've taken some liberties with this one and this is more traditional but they still have reimagined it re redrawn it added the cold stamping um she also added some reversal meanings in here which i guess would not be traditional so it, she's she's freshened it up they freshened it up a little bit so it looks like that's what they've done but i do have all the cards so that's good and i will get into this a little bit like i said i don't know much about this system but i'm excited to have this big ass book and karen mahoney's vast knowledge and research because i know she puts a lot of research into these decks and these guidebooks um so i'm happy to have this research all you know compiled into one book for me to um for me to enjoy so i'm happy with that and look what they sent i'm excited about this one this is coming in 2024 this is going to be the the theater cats tarot i think they're calling it oh i'm totally ordering this this is so cute <laughs> all right so that's it i think that's all i have to report about this one so far i like them i definitely prefer the images on here with this victorian um artwork art style but i like this as well and I, like i said i think it's going to go with some of my more wood blocky decks it'll go with my rws's it'll go with my um i love this one it'll go with my um some of my more traditional marseille decks so i'm happy with that yeah and i love the size and they are they do have a little bit of cold stamping on them but it's it's not a lot so it's not getting in my way at all. Um, does this one? Yeah, this one also has a little cold stamping. A little bit. It's not a lot. It's it's just enough to make it pretty when you turn the card, but not enough to get in your way when you are reading, when it's sitting on the table. So love him. He's so cute. <laughs> Wish there were more, but, you know, with these sorts of decks, it's, you know, it's not unusual for there not to be too much diversity in them. Um, I think that Baba Studios didn't have any at some point, and so they are, they heard, they heard the complaints, and it looks like they're trying, they did try to put, you know, something in there, but I, they could, I feel like they could have done more, but it, it is what it is. But the, anyway, so that is the Mercury fortune telling cards, which we have here and the bohemian fortune telling cards yeah that's all i got if you like that video please give it a thumbs up um it helps my channel grow subscribe if you want to see more from me i do have a couple more unboxings coming and until i see you next time stay safe and be blessed bye